Hey folks, this is IOE Throne. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Mojo. He's in the T-54. This is a tier 9 game on Sig Free Line. And we're going to try this again. I've already recorded this game once. Unfortunately, I discovered it just as I was going to finish the recording. That in fact, I had my camera turned off. Yep. So. Um, and... That's wrong. I don't mean camera. I mean... I was recording the wrong thing that entire game. So, I have the audio, um, and I have, and this is a nice little shot here. Um, but, um, we take his track off, but he just picks up and gets back in the cover. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take him out, but, uh, we did some nice damage to him before he gets in the cover. Um, so, I basically was recording on. And so now I have to do it again. So if I seem clairvoyant, it's because I am. Totally. I have the powers. Um, and at the end of the game, we're going to look up the 13.9, 13.75s. Uh, this, this, this guy. Just, just watch him throughout this game. As, um, he does some rather interesting things. And, uh, at the end of the game, it's quite pleasant with him. Okay, so, unfortunately, there's not going to be much action happening with this T-10. We're just both bouncing shots off of each other, and that's just going to be how it continues. Uh, until Mojo gets bored and leaves. Uh, we're now... Yeah, what was I going to say? I don't remember, because I've already said it all in the last video. <laughs> so i got to make sure I rehash everything. But, um, the T-54 is known for spamming heat, and only heat. Uh, Mojo is going to use his AP for most of this game. It's 201 penetration. As long as he's using it smartly and shooting for weak spots, he can actually take down the T10 and the VK. Um, but again, he has to be aiming for weak spots. Covering his lower glacis here, he's going to sit here. Armor facing out. Anybody who comes up to him is going to have a hard time getting through his armor. He's looking for guys that are crossing. Uh, the VK doesn't look like he's coming over here. Uh, looks like he might actually be trying to push into the middle. T10 definitely pushed into the middle and is definitely on his way over here. Uh, I don't think he knows what he's going to find when he gets here. But that's okay because we know he's coming. Put a nice shot into him and then angle the armor. Get the Hular plate covered up. And the guy shoots us in the turret. So, so far we've traded him. Uh, about 600 damage, and he's traded back nothing. Fires again, and again, dings one off the top of us. Oops, sorry. Okay, fair point. As we go ahead and put another shot to him. And Mojo is holding his shots long enough so he gets to the angle and can put shots into weak points, uh, be it the cheeks, the driver's hatch, or the Lord Glacius. He is making sure he gets the shots in where they count and not where they bounce harmlessly off the top of the tank. T10 did get one shot into us that mattered. I assume he got close enough to put it into the cola. Um, they might have got an angle and put it somewhere else. Oh, there it is. So he, he barely got it uh, through the hull of the tank. But that's okay. I mean, one shot in, in four that actually goes in will take those odds every day of the week. And twice on Sundays. Hey, wait, this is a Sunday. Um, he wants to get. Ooh, that's an nice. IS. Uh, he wants to get aggressive on the VK over there. Uh, it is in a great spot for crossfire, um, as long as we can take it out. Or we can start picking off easy targets. This VK is apparently not caring and facing the wrong way, thinking his flank is covered, and it's obviously not. I guess this is the next target just because he's the next one that we can shoot at. Not really any um, real urgency in these kills here. He's just farming damage where he can farm damage. If the VK is going to do something stupid, we're going to take him out for it. IS is going to be the next one in line. Again, he's going to show to do something stupid. And a little juke managed to catch the shell with their tracks instead of having to go into our work basis. Which is really what we want to keep away from. We want to stay away from all the damage. And aiming shot. I uh, let the gun settle all the way in on the um, the IS. Knowing he had the time. 
BK shoots us, we're gonna hit it on the fly, dodge between these wrecks, and search the circle of this poor, poor guy who has made a horrible mistake and uh, now realizes it just a little bit too late. Panther is trying to do damage to us, but so far the Panther just keeps dinging shells off us. He's really determined just to sit back and shoot though. Um, I think maybe it's a bot or maybe just a new player. I don't really know, but uh, this is uh, just the dumbest thing I've seen in a long time. Um, this is not how you play a Panther, by the way. Now that we're through all the standard ammo, he's going to have to start using heat because he just doesn't have any more standard ammo left. And that's okay. Unfortunately, he's using heat on a Panther, which is about one of the easiest things to pen in this game, except for uh, obviously a tankster. Uh, Ugo is sitting over there doing some damage and holding a gateway. And since we've already taken on and taken down the two highest tier heavy tanks in this game, might as well run over here and see what we can do for this Ugo. Ugo fires and misses through the archways, actually trying to hit us as we crossed. Uh, that would have been great damage for him had he connected. He did not. And that is the only shot of effect he's going to get. So we go ahead and take him out of this game. Uh, actually, we don't, but you know that's only because we don't really want time. Um, 15, well, I guess 20 shells left over so far. He's not going to get a shot on the Sam just right yet. It's just an awkward position, and the male 2 is going to run through a lot of fire, which we're actually really glad for because poor, poor Emil. <laughs> um, WZ120 is out there. And no more mail. And this is why we're glad the mail took the lead. And we didn't. If we'd taken the lead, we would be in some trouble right now. Possibly dead. The mail is dead. We're okay with that. Standard B is going to keep us proxy late here. Um, but that's okay, really. Um, it's not gonna really going to do much. Oh, look. The MX-1375 is dinging shallows off of us. But... You know what's okay with that? There's a dude over here. Oh, look at that. WZ is turning to fire at our SU-101. This is tracks taken off by artillery. And we're just going to go ahead and drop some shells on him while he's waiting to repair it. Uh, I don't know if we get the kill on him. I don't remember. Looks like no. Artillery gets the kill on him. We're at five kills. We need to kill on somebody. And the Udis has rammed the 1375 to the point where he, his tracks have come off, and he's just got to sit here and die. That is just really sad. Um, we in this game five kills, so close to a top gun. Having nobody else on the team having more kills than us, there's no point in trying to friend somebody for brothers in arms. Well, um, he did find, find a lot more AP than I'm sure he means to. And uh, that's going to cost him in the long run, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump over to the battle report and see what he got. And see if I actually recorded this correctly this time. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, Duelist, Fighter, Fire Perfect, Shell Proof, two bonds, uh, but a ton of cash. Considering the fact that he was in a regular tank, this is a lot of money. Uh, cool headed steel wall and high caliber. Well done, sir. Um, 7,660 damage done. That's almost 1,500 base experience. So high <laughs> above the rest of his team. Um, and just like, you have guys in tier 10 games that aren't doing anything. And are getting sub 500 experience. That's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. But oh well. 1375 is actually the most experienced player on the enemy team. Um, but managed to get himself tracked by an Udiz. <laughs> that poor, poor man. Um, nice job all the way through, including damage blocked because of the fact that he was angling real well. And make sure they couldn't see anything with his lower glaciers. He did really great at that. He actually made some money coming out of this. Wouldn't if he just ran our standard, but that's okay. That's just sometimes what it costs to run some premium. Thank you all for watching. This has been a joy to watch. Good to record, and I can't wait to see 
uh, the next one you send me, Mojo. I'll see you all then. This is IOE Throughout.